Like this is definitely the type of energy I'd expect to find in Texas thrift stores. They say everything's bigger in Texas. Well, we're about to do one big thrift trip in San Antonio. New episodes every Sunday and Thursday visiting a dozen of the city's best thrift stores and one very special estate sale of a local legend. It's the San Antonio Thrift Series. We're here at Boysville. The address on Google Maps says that this is supposedly a garage, but if you look at all the details and the reviews, it's all about this thrift store that's rated like the best thrift store in San Antonio like this keeps coming up I looked a lot on like reddit and stuff like that and this one came up a lot I'm not sure what their hours are because again Google Maps has been wrong so I don't think they're open the parking lot is empty so that's a bad sign for me but let's just go see and I'll find out what the hours are at least then we'll know and like for future reference This is interesting. They are open 11 to 5, Wednesday to Saturday. It's 10.35, so I'm actually like the first one here. But since I've been sitting here, two other cars have pulled up and they're just like waiting to go in. So it's making me think that it is gonna be really popular and that people like wait for this place to open up. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna wait or go to the next store and come back, but um, Wednesday to Saturday, 11 to five. Those are the official hours. <laughs> well, we left to get a smoothie because they weren't open yet. Peanut butter, banana, cinnamon, vanilla, honey, and almond milk. Oh my gosh. It's 11.02 right now and the parking lot is like filled up. So it's probably gonna be a little busy in there. People are like waiting for it to open. So I just hope that means it's really, really good. And let's go check it out. So 25% off today maybe? Pleating is so good. Some 501s right there. Those are cute. Not my size, and they're not like super vintage. They're like a 2014 hair, but pretty cool. They got some good stuff here. Notice that. Wow. That's pretty cool. Like, this is definitely the type of energy I'd expect to find in Texas thrift stores. I have a couple of cool, kind of almost western style belts. These 
remember my black Presidente tee that I thrifted? I have it in yellow also. Kind of considering these little trouser pants. I think they're really cute. I'm still definitely into this like kind of plaid look, um, but it looks way more like fall and winter to me and I'm trying to focus on like spring and summer. So I might not really get a ton of wear out of these for a while if I picked them up right now. I just browsed through the women's tops. It's kind of hard to like really show you just because of how the racks are organized here. It's very organized. It's just like hard to look through them and show you. I don't know. It's a different setup. Maybe I'm just not used to it. Um, but I did bring a few things I'll show you now. Very bright in spring, would be like super loose and flowy. Imagine it with like a light wash jean or like a pair of colored jeans or something. Super cute. I think this blazer is incredible. It's got that like extra long fit that's like really stylish right now and these like outside pockets like that I really like. Panel pockets. This is my favorite find of the day so far. Isn't this the cutest thing ever? Pretty sure that's gonna fit me. So excited. And yeah, now I'm gonna look through the dresses and there's like a lot of bright colors popping out at me. So I'm very excited, let's look. I definitely feel impressed with the dress selection so far. I think there's a lot of good gems in there and I've only looked through like half of it, so. Yeah, so these are a few fun dresses that like are made to look high fashion, but I can tell that they're not very well made, so they might be like a Miss Look or some Fashion Nova type of website. But still, if you were just going for this style, like I actually think this pink one is pretty amazing. Actually, all three of these I really like. Yeah, it just feels that like cheap, super thin, cheap, kind of scratchy material that you don't love. Look at this bright spring cutie. I do have a purse that would go with this like exactly. <laughs> Look at this Leslie Faye polka dot set. It has three pieces including a neck scarf and a skirt. Here's the go back rack. Always good to check this. And look, look at this freaking cute vest. And the cut. Oh, this label faked me out pretty good. <laughs> We have the real one. <laughs> wow.
This store also looks great for like jewelry accessories. Like most places, their fitting rooms are closed, but it's not a problem. I don't even really want to try everything on, but I'm gonna just like look in the mirror. Here's that Escada blouse. I do think this color is like amazing, and I feel like I kind of gotta snag it for three dollars on sale. <laughs> I found this little Liz Claiborne like crocheted sweater, and even the buttons are covered in like a crochet, so it's super cute. I just think on me, it looks like it'd be pretty snug, and it's my vibe usually, so I'll probably pass. I think I actually gotta slip this vest on just to make sure it fits, but I think it's so cool. Yeah, so this vest, I just pulled this over just to see. I would wear it with um, most likely just like a white t-shirt or I don't know, any kind of t-shirt under it or a tank top for summer. So I think I, I, think I do wanna get it. I think I'll have a lot of fun styling this one. All right, now this dress. This is like a midi length tank top dress. I just, I love this print. It has these little like, almost like drawn on kind of like stars. And I think it looks like it could be styled kind of like cute and like a kind of witchy style if that makes sense. Like I could see me wearing like hats and boots with this and um, actually yeah, kind of like a basic piece that could be made to look a lot more stylish I think. So I kind of really like this one. $6.99 and 25% off, so not too bad. It's in great condition, too. This fruit dress, I'm obsessed. It, like, I really hope it fits me because I think it's the best find in the store, maybe. I don't know, that blouse is good too, but this is like one of the best things I've found today. And I've got to, I've got my measuring tape, so I'm actually gonna measure the waist and make sure that I'm good to go. This blazer I wanted to actually pull on just to show you what I'm talking about. Like it's, it's got such a nice long silhouette to it and these pockets are cool. I like this kind of just like houndstooth window pane combo with the pattern. So this one would be really fun to style. Okay, so I've got like a number of things in my cart, but I think I've shown you pretty much everything I'm considering. So I'm gonna make my final decisions and check out and go to the next store. Well, that was the Boysville Thrift Store, which is widely regarded on the internet at least as the best thrift store in San Antonio. And I may end up agreeing with that. I think that I give this one pretty good ratings across the board. For pricing, the pricing is not the cheapest you can get, but that's not always the best thing. Like if we're talking about value, I think that everything was priced really fairly for the quality of the items, which I definitely thought was amazing. Really happy with all the pieces that I got and I'll show you here in a second. The overall quantity was so good too because it was enough that you could find a great variety of items but it wasn't too much that you could spend like all day looking through everything. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of a thrifter's dream there. The shopability of it was really good. I was not used to that kind of format of how they have the little rounder set up. So it kind of threw me at first. I'm used to keeping track of where I've actually already looked through by going down long rows of products, right? You could get a little bit lost between the racks of like, oh, have I seen that one yet or not? But it also made it really quick to look at everything because you could see all of the different like fabrics sticking out and each little rack so I really actually enjoyed shopping there for sure. They also just did a really good job merchandising like the different sections were so appealing it was just really fun to shop there absolutely loved the vibe like that is definitely the type of thrift store that I would love to return to. Again, it's somewhere where you feel like you could just pop in on a weekly basis and see what's new, or you could make a whole afternoon of it and spend a bunch of time digging through the racks. They had a good variety of products with the section with all the music and vinyl. They had homewares and they had a huge shoe selection. Great for accessories. Honestly, I think this store is good for pretty much any situation. The only downside is 
the hours. As I mentioned before, they're open from 11 to five, Wednesday to Saturday, which is not fantastic. And I got there a half an hour early and I was the first person in the lot, but by the time 11 o'clock rolled around, the lot was like pretty much full. That said, the store was not crowded at all, just the parking lot was full, but it's this popular spot. So you definitely kind of got to plan your day around how you can get to this store, especially if you're working like a typical nine to five, you pretty much only have Saturdays. Overall, I think you can tell that I absolutely loved that store and had a great experience there. The rating system, take it with a grain of salt, is mostly just meant for fun and to help us compare all the different stores that we're gonna visit on this trip. I was really happy with all the items that I picked up at Boysville and I'm gonna show you now in a quick try on. And then don't forget, the finale of this series will include one big styling with all the pieces that I thrifted on this trip. So let's see what I got at Boysville. I brought home this gray, almost a window pane print blazer. I think this is vintage from the 80s. We've got shoulder pads. I really just loved the fit and style of this blazer. It's different than anything that I own. I don't know if you can tell, but this is like a very thin light material. It's not even lined. So I thought it'd make a great spring piece. It also means it's just really light to wear and like has this nice kind of draping to it. It's way less structured than most of the blazers that I own. I think that's what it is, less structure. It's a great length on me too for that sort of oversized menswear look that I like. And we've got a single button down here, kind of on the lower side, which definitely, again, is like a very 80s silhouette to me. And then these like panel pockets on the front. I think because this is so thin, again, I think this is a great one to actually like roll up the sleeves a little bit to give it some styling. And then I definitely would be putting it over a lot of like graphic tees and pairing it with some brighter colors too. I also decided to bring home this necklace just because I've been loving pastels and I thought it could be fun to pair with some of the like spring pastel looks that I've been putting together lately. I feel like it definitely looks weird with like the current um, neckline and stuff that I have. I probably would wear it over something actually with a higher neckline, like a crew neck tee or something like that. But yeah, this lavender color is just so you should always check the go back rack or the racks with that they're just bringing out new product because that's where you can often find the best stuff and it's a really quick way to shop. So I checked there and I spotted this cute little like pastel denim vest. It's honestly not like a heavy denim, but I think it's just 100% cotton kind of thing. We've also got amazing detail on these little brass buttons that are embossed with tiny little hearts. So like most button up things, this will not go around my chest, but I still like it. I like how it's fitted open like this. I'm gonna style it just over, I think, simple t-shirts, but also try to bring in some of the pastel colors that are in the print. All right, next item. We all saw this one from across the thrift store and I just like ran over to it. <laughs> that definitely was hoping to get some like fun, typical like Western style um, pieces while in Texas. And this one is like probably the best one that I found in the whole trip. This is actually really kind of soft and like cozy and like a nice, fabric, it must be 100% cotton, I, I, the tag is pretty faded. I think it's a 90s men's piece though from the brand Roper. I could see me wearing this open over a graphic tee, like unbuttoned, but um, I also really wanted to try it just like tucked into my Wranglers and like lean into the Western vibes. This is maybe one of my favorite finds of the whole trip, this little vintage women's blouse. This says it's a vintage size 12, so I was really happy that, to try it on in the store and see that it actually fit me. Because again, you know how button ups are like an issue for me. Ugh, but come on, like how cute.
Okay, this was a fun moment in the thrift store. You saw me look over at a piece that was on the rack that had a, a brand that was almost looked like it was Escada. I can't remember what it was, but you saw it. And I was like, oh, like that had me fooled for a second. And then like a few minutes later, I was like, oh, there it is. Found the Escada piece in the store. Like, couldn't believe it. They didn't even mark it up. So I got this for just a few bucks. It is, I think a men's style, um, a really lovely color. And this one is a really nice soft cotton and wool blend. This one does have some nice pleating at the cuffs, but I'll probably wear it rolled up, especially coming into the spring months here. The other wonderful thing about this material is like it does not wrinkle very easily. So this is like a good one for any type of traveling when you need a little bit nicer shirt to go with you. This would survive a suitcase. <laughs> All right, next piece. I brought home that like 90s style fruit print dress. And here's that dress. It is really tight. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. I do want to try styling it a couple different ways to see if I can get it to look more how I would like to wear it. But here it is for now. I'm not really styling things today, obviously. So we're just kind of throwing it on. And yeah, I do think it's like, it's super cute. So I think when I style it, I will try like the 90s style, um, like a really fitted white t-shirt underneath. I also like the idea of like a slouchy sweater over this and just showing the bottom as a skirt. And I think either a black or like more colorful, like a hot pink sweater over the top would be really cute. So yeah, I've got to like play with it. I'm not super happy with the fit. It's too tight on my bust right now. But um, yeah, I'll have to play with the styling and see if I can make it work or it might be like a Depop item because I do think it's so cute. Thanks again for thrifting with me at Boysville. This was episode two of our series, Thrifting in San Antonio, Texas. There's lots more thrifting to come in this series. So once again, subscribe and turn on notifications, whatever you got to do to stay in the loop on this series. And I'll see you again very soon for the next episode. I just wanna dance it all